course, the second Lions Tour. It is the early stages of this one, of course, but how exciting does this one feel? Yeah, look, I think everyone's excitement was building towards the end of the regular season, and then when we got the opportunity to meet up last week, I think everyone kind of came to uh, a, a huge crescendo, I suppose, and we were all buzzing to get together first and foremost and excited to see what we could bring to the training field and last week's training definitely didn't disappoint I think Guy's been hugely um, chomping at the bit I suppose to get out and and, uh, and show what everyone's got on the field and, and last week's training was was a very tough training week but, but we got a lot out of it. You obviously see guys on the circuit week in week out but when you get back together as Lions do you pick it up where you left things off in New Zealand four years ago you know with those guys that, that were on the tour then? Yeah, definitely. There's definitely a, a, a huge element of, of re-gelling as quickly as possible with those guys, but a few different coaches in now, um, different ways of doing things, slightly different ways of attacking, slightly different ways of defending, line-outs, all those things can you sort of strip right the way back to basics and start to build them up again, but the calibre of players that you're, that you're, you're training and, and working with, that all comes together, or well, has come together, I feel, um, probably as smooth as it's ever come together that in any squad I've ever been in. I guess it's an obvious question to do is to compare things. Um, how does this training session, if you like, uh, and the early part of this sort, compare to four years ago? I, mean, I imagine they're in just completely different things, what with COVID, before you even start on rugby. Yeah, look, uh, I suppose this, this, uh, this time in the last tour, we were coming together for camps for two or three days, four days, splitting and come back together. So it was quite disjointed in that manner and it didn't really feel like the tour had started. Whereas definitely from last Sunday when everyone got the planes in together in the jersey, there was a real definite feel that that's the start of tour. That's how that's where, where things began, if you like. Um, in terms of training, I think the numbers, we, we I can't remember exactly, but I think there was maybe just about 15 last time. Uh, who weren't who who have been here who were there from the start whereas this time we've been up mid to high 20s who have been here available to train from the start so that's already added a huge element that the the majority of the squad being here um have been able to get on board and and it'll be tough for the for the the guys who are just coming in but i have no doubt that they'll catch up as, as quickly as everyone else has, has jumped on board as well do you feel, therefore, that you may be a little bit advanced as, as where you were, say, compared to four years ago at this stage, just because, because of the numbers of, in training? I think so. I, I definitely do think so. As I said there before, chopping in and out of camp, whether it be in the Vale at Wales four years ago, we're going over to Carton House the last time, um, having everyone here, spending their spare time together, getting to know each other, um, going out for dinner, having a few pints with each other, all that stuff I think is vital to making uh, things click on the field and off the field, which is ultimately, the quicker you can do that in the Lions Tour, the, the, the quicker you'll see things being produced on the pitch. This weekend, of course, first game of the Tour in effect. First time since 2005 the Lions will have played on UK soil. I mean, the Lions are pretty much an elite group at the best of times, but those who will be able to say they played for the Lions in the British Isles uh, will be able to perform a really elite group. But is there a sort of a real um, scramble for the shirts to, to be in that first side that's named? Well, obviously, a huge training week last week, and a lot of guys were definitely attempting and, and definitely were putting their best foot forward to ensure that the, the coaching staff could um, be able to fight their corner, if you like, in the, in the, 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 in the selection process. But I, I, I think everyone at the minute is just dying to get the first game underway looking forward to this first match week and um, we had a good good mornings getting clarity this morning bit of gym this morning and um, I do think everyone's aligned in their goals I don't feel like anyone's I don't feel like we're fighting for places at the minute I feel like we're working well together to to aid the team that, that is going to take the field in Murrayfield. It's fair to say Japan aren't going to play the same style as South Africa will does that matter? No, I don't think so. Uh, I think definitely this first game we'll be looking, we understand there's definitely uh, two of the nations anyway, understand the massive threats that, that uh, Japan can bring. Um, obviously, as you said, the, the style of game will be slightly different to South Africa. However, the intensity, the level of intensity, I think will 100% be there and, and we're going to have to make sure that, that we are fully switched in there to, uh, to be able to cope with that and, and it'll be a massive test for us. The phrase that gets used a lot by a professional sportsman is, well, it's all about us, not about the opposition. Is that actually 
actually maybe truer than it's ever been this weekend. It is all about what the Lions do. Um, I do agree with that to a certain extent. Uh, but you wind back to the last World Cup and, and you look at Ireland and Scotland and, and how they were definitely... Um, air strain performances that that, that that probably didn't go the way that, that the countries had planned. Um, probably, potentially, not putting it down to paying enough attention to what Japan brings. So so I'll definitely be going into this game with an open mind, ensuring that we can get all our stuff right in terms of the uh, our Lions detail and prep, but having a good idea of the intensity and the accuracy which the Japanese will bring. Um, uh, if you forget about that, I, I think I think we might find ourselves in a difficult place. Thank you, Ian. Thanks. Hi, Ian. It's Graham Thomas here from Sky Sports News. Hi, yeah. How are you getting on? Good, thanks. Yeah. Um, I was in Jersey last week with you, Ian, and I saw uh, the training session on Friday at Jersey Reds, and you had what 14, 1500 people there. Fantastic atmosphere. Great, great day. Um, how much did you feel afterwards a little regretful that a lot of those Lions fans, or in fact none of them, are going to be there with you and South Africa? Yeah, look, I think a lot of the guys commented on it afterwards. It was great. Like when you're in a training, uh, when you're in, a, in the middle of a training session and you and someone makes a break and you hear a crowd cheer, that's the first time most of us had had heard a crowd cheer and uh, playing rugby in well over a year. Anyway, that was uh, exciting in itself. Um, first game first. We're looking forward to having fans in Murrayfield. I think that's going to be absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. And um, it was great to get them out the other day and over here. Um, in South Africa, it'll be it'll be obviously a, a different kettle of fish. Um, I think there's still a bit of uh, uncertainty as around what numbers are going to be allowed in there, if any. So, so obviously the the tour often comes with a with a huge tr- cohort of of uh, supporters traveling, be it going to games or not going to games or, or being around the general vicinity. But, um, but obviously this tour will be different than that, but the, the guys who have played in, in the Six Nations and played for their clubs will be well used now to dealing with, with different and adverse conditions. So um, uh, I would like to hope that, 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 that anyone who would be or may be affected by this will, will have dealt with something similar to this before and, and, and look, we'll be able to put that behind them and, and make sure they bring the best rugby on the pitch. Is it something you've talked about as a group yet, the need to, to create your own atmosphere, your own intensity, if there aren't any crowds to feed on? No, we, we, haven't, we haven't discussed that much yet. I would imagine that will probably come in sort of the tail end of the match week. Um, uh, maybe not this match week, maybe next match week um, to ensure that, that, that we're, we're putting things in place to make sure that that doesn't surprise us. Um, but, but I think... Uh, as I said, there all the players will have played with with no crowds, no atmosphere. So, so we'll be doing that, and um, we'll be uh, having done that. We'll hopefully make it make it a bit more a bit more like uh, a bit more realistic and what we've been used to. Yeah, and for you personally, uh, as Andrew was asking you, 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 you've been through this experience four years ago. Uh, are you a little more comfortable in your first few days because of that? A little less awestruck. Yeah, I think so. I think um, being being in obviously being here uh, the last tour obviously gives you you know what to expect or maybe a little less nervous if you like about about um, getting everything underway. But but I, I feel do I definitely do feel that, that this time coming in it's a lot of the staff are still the same. So so you're you're familiar with a lot, load of those guys as as we talked about a lot of the players are similar. So you do, you slip back in and regel with those guys pretty quick, and and you have an understanding then of what it feels like for a new player to be in. So then you can do as best possible to to bring them up to scratch or, or make them feel as welcome or as comfortable as possible. So so all those things I think are a mixture of feelings that I felt in in, in the first week, and and as I said before, all those combined I think are helping helping us on the pitch. And in terms of the, the fundamentals on the pitch of, of the playing style, what you're trying to achieve, are the messages different this time than they were four, four years ago? Are you trying to, how would you summarise what the, the ethos is on the training field at the moment? Yeah, I, I think bits and pieces are definitely different. However, I think, 
if you look at a lot of um, teams in the Six Nations and look at the way they defend, a lot of them are very similar, and a lot of them, a lot of the way teams attack are very similar. Um, so, uh, so, so it won't be a huge amount different in that aspect, but but the way the messages are being put across, the way we're training, um, is slightly different this time in in a in a, in a positive manner, I think. So, um. Again, it's very early days to tell about about what way that's going to translate on the uh, in the match day scenario. So, like I think time will tell, and then we'll hopefully see how uh, how we go after after this weekend. Thanks, Ian. Good luck. Cheers. Hi, Ian. Gareth here from BBC uh, from BBC Men. Um, just a quick one. You mentioned there about it doesn't feel like it's sort of fighting for places at the moment, but a couple of locks there with Mauro Tozzi and Alan and Jones were there four years ago. How would you view the sort of uh, the depth of lock there uh, going into this tour? Yeah, well, obviously the, the the fact that there's four of us, be it Mauro, Alwyn, Courtney, and myself here, that we're all here in the last tour, goes to show that the depth is there, that and any experience that that you might hold the trump card from being on the last tour that all those other guys hold it too so so at the minute it is just about getting everyone on the same page making sure that everyone um understands the way we want to play the way we want the team to work um and then match performances will definitely dictate about uh, around how how selection goes later in the tour so it'll be interesting but but at the minute it's exciting and uh, and enjoyable you alluded to it as well with Ireland and Scotland. How much are those memories from the 2019 World Cup still with the guys from those two nations? Oh, I think they're definitely very strong. Um, I think uh, the Welsh and English uh, have a good understanding too from the outside. The the upsets and, and the big performances that the Japanese have put in over the last number of years have been, have been incredible. And I think they've... Um, shocked and surprised in a good way uh, um, a lot of the rugby playing world if you like and it's great it's great to see um, and I think it's just only going to add for a uh, an even more exciting game at the weekend and, and, and look forward to, to the challenges that that brings Thank you Cheers Hi Ian uh, Carl from J-Sport uh, What kind of impression are you have to the Japan team or the, uh, the rugby in Japan and uh, if you have any particular players to to watch or to uh, to mark up in Japanese team, yeah, look, um, Japanese rugby obviously has gone from strength to strength, and and you don't have to, as I said there, you don't have to ask anyone any more or any further than the Scottish and Irish players here in this squad about about the the damage that they did did for to us in the in the twenty nineteen World Cup, um. Mm-hmm. Obviously, watching the rugby out there, it's brilliant to see like their their club sides going from strength to strength. And I've I've heard, chatted with a few of few of the guys you know some of the boys out there, and they thoroughly enjoy playing out there. And, and the standard is ever increasing and, and getting better and better. And um, so, I would ex- only expect that to translate and and do the into the the Japanese national teams game and see them improving on, on season on season. And obviously, the one the player who stands out in my head. Michael Leach obviously is is phenomenal for for Japan, and he's definitely one who caused us a lot of trouble when we played him in the World Cup. So um, he's definitely one that that I, that I think that we will um, have to keep our keep our eye on. Thank you very much. Um, Ian, can I ask a question? I it's not here from the Times. Uh, hi. Um, there's only two uh, midweek games on this tour, which is uh, obviously a bit. Quite a big difference. I just wonder what um, impacts uh, or how that will change the way things are. Yeah, the midweek the midweek um, uh, games obviously put a bit of stress and on the squad and 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 players to to have quick turnarounds and, and be able to perform. Um, it also plays around a bit with with your usual match day training week. Um, obviously, all the the countries and clubs would generally. At, at very worst, have a five or six day turnaround at going into games. So, so having that chop right the way down to two or three days uh, after a game and going into another game obviously puts huge stress on the players, puts stress on the coaches for for their training week. So, having less of those will obviously be um will will put the team under less stress, but then obviously, um, slightly less time on on the pitch together maybe. But but I think uh, overall the players are 
are a pretty adaptable bunch, and whatever gets thrown at them, they'll be able to they'll be able to deal with. Uh, as we saw in the last tour, a lot of the players fronted up and, and came out and played uh, a good few of them anyway. Played a test match after after playing a midweek game and and performed well in that test match. So so like the the players are willing to do anything, and and they know that this is um, when it gets down to crunch time, they'll put their body in the line and 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 let Gats know that. Would it be fair to say that um, if you if you do start in a midweek team, the the, the uh, opportunities for impressing and therefore getting onto a Saturday team are fewer, are higher, if you're a further between. Um. Well, I seem to think that I thought that lap probably at the start of going to the last tour, but. Look at uh, I think it was Liam Williams and Elliot Daly both started that final midweek game and then they ended up uh, I think one of them definitely started and the other one might have been on the bench the test week test team that that weekend so so I I think um, as we as we've seen with with a lot of things um, uh, Gats has has a good idea of what he wants and 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 he'll pick the team based on on on. On who he thinks is going to be do the best job at that point in time, maybe not necessarily who's had been in which team and and, and who's uh, who's been on Saturday or Wednesday teams. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Yeah, and just with your experience of that opening game four years ago, how important are you? Do you find to look back on that and realize just how big it is to lay down a marker early on in the first game? Hi, Jonathan. How are you getting on? Um. Yeah, like obviously the the last last game, last first game against the the provincial barbarians. That was obviously a, a real tough game. They they took us by by a bit of surprise. Obviously, we, there are several excuses we get automatically jumped to, but but the performance probably wasn't up to scratch. And this this tour, hopefully, we're we've 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 gel. I feel we've gelled better as a team. We've had better training leading into the game. Um, travel will be better, and the 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 team will have trained more together. I think all those things will will come together to hopefully provide us with with bre- better preparation for the game and and um, fingers crossed a, a better performance in that game. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. Thanks all. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys.